you fuck with them battle scars. <laughs> them war wounds. <laughs> yeah. You fuck with those. Yeah, no yeah. shirt yeah. with some war wounds. Hey, TT just on, you know. Uh, I've been seeing you quoting a lot of Lil Wayne raps lately. It's funny. Have yeah, you been seeing that? Yeah, I, I like yeah. old Wayne, though. I definitely like old Wayne. You didn't like it during the time it was, so that's the funny thing about it. Uh, well. I'm right yeah. out of my room. Listen, so just check this out. <laughs> yeah, let, let, the people, let the people know what's going on. With Lil Wayne, <laughs> he was a solid artist from Wobbledy Wobbledy. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was a, you know what I mean? Like, Wobbledy Wobbledy. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he was building, and then he yeah. got on the forefront with what, like 500 degrees thing. I wasn't really with him then. But, hot, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he was doing his thing. I, I started to catch wind with the Carter one, mm-hmm. and then his, you know, uh, squad up mixtape. You know the mixtapes. Yeah. You couldn't escape those. Those the things. Trout. Those things yep. got to you. You had to hear them, you know. Yeah. Dedication. And then uh, Carter Two came out, and and <clears throat> honestly, to me, it's a top project all time for me. And top Lil Wayne, or just an all time rap project. All time rap project. Okay. And for me, uh, I I have there's nobody's rap rap like how he was rapping on Carter Two. Nobody's rapping like that, and, and I don't know if anybody has really rapped that way. It's just a certain way he was rapping that was very like it was almost like he was telling a story mm-hmm. in just his own way. It was it, yeah. it was uh, something that I I always go back to, and I'm always taking little pieces from like like just like the you know from when I'm working out. Like mm-hmm. he got little lines on there like I don't care who at the top of the stairs. I'm stepping up like just little yeah. bars like that. Yeah. It's like he was doing a lot of bars like that during those years. And- just, That's just, why I fucked Just him. run off bars. It was like, yeah. damn, he's kind of in his bag where he's just telling you what he what he is, what yeah. he's doing, you know. So and it was cool too. So yeah, I'll be calling I'll be calling Wayne. But I'm not trying to get you know, after that I think he it got commercial. You know what I'm Fart saying? Out of my wallet, call it gas money. That's stupid. <laughs> that is stupid. And he got <laughs> Wake up early in the morning. Eat that pussy like cold pizza. I mean, <laughs> once after Carter 2 hit for me it, I mean he might have had a little mixtape in there that Carter slapped but, was hard. but once it got to Carter 3 was a, a solid project but once stepped down from Carter 2 though right it, yeah it was but once he got to talking about you know doing drugs like that became like the forefront of his shit you know like he, he actually made the doing the drugs uh, mainstream he totally and I don't think nobody gives him credit for that he brought doing drugs he brought that to the forefront and made it cool him and maybe Gucci you know what I mean like so that yeah, I thought that was big time that. lame and you know just being the solid nigga that I am as a young man I just thought that was lame as fuck you know and he I wasn't with that and I just had to back off like well, fuck you pop pop like <laughs> you know and pill pop an animal yeah, so I, Surf, just, sipping, I look down and on we shit talk like about that. Eating so. pussy way too much for me. I mean, that's his preference. We talk about that a lot. Niggas be talking about worse. Yeah, he had a lot of those nice. dope, those uh, classic money bars. Beat that the pussy really up like Emmett Till. We could talk all day <laughs> crazy. about how fucking <laughs> crazy, music. We could talk all day about how music fucking literally been getting in here and uh, and affecting the minds of these kids from the way you have sex. The kinds of drugs you do, the internet trolling is at the forefront of things now. You know what I'm I mean, saying? Bro, like, I mean, all this shit's been around since dressing our like a girl. Time, like, this is all enforced marketing in the hip hop, bro. It's it's crazy, bro. It's so, gonna be here forever. I just like I was just I just posted something the other day. Like, damn, how they push Lupe out the game. You know, and obviously he's a little wacko. But Did they he, push he, him out the game. Uh, he, he, and and he, his and he, and he kind of helped it. He helped yeah, it. Okay. But uh, he he <laughs> definitely got difficult, but he got fed up with the shit, you know, because, like, I was just, like, the last shit that, the last push he really, really had, I think, was on that, uh, well, lasers. <coughs> I think they tried to really fully push him with lasers. Yeah. And then he dropped something that came after that. But what album was that Bitch Bad that came? What album was that? That's the song? That Bitch Bad shit. Woman Good. Yeah, Lady better. That's, that's, that's I don't know. Do you know what the fuck that is? See, but look, you don't like that that sound of that message, huh? 
I'm not a big Lupe fan besides the coolest nigga. What? The coolest nigga. I know, but I I'm just saying, like. But fuck everything else. Pull up the, the, like hey, pull up the uh, Bitch Bad Lupe video. <laughs> I, I just want Kate tourists push. to see this. I like Kate Push. I don't like that fucking song. I like Kate Push when it came out. If you are what you say. That was when we worked at fucking finish line. <laughs> That's what it being made through memories. <laughs> so just just peep this uh, Lupe Bitch Bad real quick. and go, Scroll down if you can see what album we it's on. Oh it's, no no no! It's not on tattoo. It's on food and liquor too. Yeah. So I feel like oh. that was his last like big push, or last chance. Okay, I kind of remember this shit a little bit. And, uh, he's, yeah. and he's just schooling you like how the the music has influenced the women, and then how the women's influences the children. Alright, you can kill it. You know what I'm saying? Like you know the problem with Lupe, he 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 made his whole career off just like mocking the rap game. So do you take that as a mock? I, yeah, that's all he's doing with all his fucking. But music. why does it that that you see that as a mockery? Just shut up. That, that's something that's There's needed. There's nobody that's listening to that. No kids. Nobody wants to ride to that fucking song. I get You're it. Dissing everything that's going on in rap. You don't agree. You hate every fucking rapper. Why is it a diss? It. Why is it a diss? I don't think it's a diss because that's. First off, niggas gonna make the music whatever they want to make. He's he's like anti everything Bro, that's rap. He's a a solid real nigga, like a real one. I don't Fuck think whatever. So. Everybody else is doing the wrong shit, nigga. That's the facts. That's the truth. You don't want to admit it. He's telling you the truth, bro. That's how the shit goes. Okay, listen. I agree with what he's saying, but who's listening to that song? Yeah, that's not his. That's not his fault. And you make he makes a lot of songs. The like The mainstream that. marketing isn't behind him. No Dumb more. it down. On that fucking uh, food and liquor shit, uh, well, no, what's the cool album? He had a few of those songs on there where he was just kind of mocking and just making a joke of the shit. Like these bro, niggas are all jokes. Bro, he's telling the truth. He's That's telling cool. the truth. That's he's telling fine. the truth, bro. But why is he not in? Why let is me he ask in a position that he's let, in? Let me. Uh, he's, he's, he's he lasted ten he years in the game. He lasted ten years in the game. I mean, that's a that's he spent a, ten years crying and whining, bitch. But check this out. Check this out. Let me ask you one he's question. He's fucking crying like a little girl. Let me ask you one question. For ten years straight. Who does that? And it's not helping you. Are you? Are we? Or it's are are, are our children and even adults? Fuck them. Are we being influenced by music? Yes or no? I can't speak for others. I'm not. Are other people? Yes, you can. No, like Are you gonna let your daughter know. listen to Cardi B, uh, some shit, whatever? I don't care. Because are you gonna let her not, listen to it? It don't matter to me. So you are. <laughs> All I know is that. Gonna, what's her nastiest song? What's the song? Well, I'm Wap? the number one. You letting your daughter listen I'm to what? Number one influence. I feel what you're gonna say, you but are you me? letting her listen to it then? It doesn't matter if I am or I'm not. I would you let her listen to it? Yes or no? Just answer a yes or no question. If it doesn't right now, I'm not playing them songs for her. Right? I'm not playing none of them songs. And then uh, even basic. Now I'm just saying you're trying to deflect. Would you <clears throat> let your daughter listen to the song explicit? Yes or no? Yes or no? None of my kids are listening this to nigga any. He can't do it. He can't give it to songs. Them. Okay. All right. So they're not right. We're listening to fun shit. The, listen to motherfucking baby shark. All type. Of okay. shit Okay. And there's a reason for that, right? Let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Because you don't want her mocking the nasty shit out of you. Let's, let's, let's not. Me let, or let's not me be nothing. prideful here. Let's not be prideful. It's not about pride. Are there? It's plain, nigga. If you're sitting here letting her listen to uh, what's it? Wet ass pussy. Yeah. Explicit. That's a. There's quote. a good chance she's gonna repeat those words. That's an adult song. Exactly. And you don't right. let her listen to it because you're aware of the influence that it could no, have. Man, it's not about influence. Nigga. <laughs> let's, come on. Come it's on, a song for, real, It's bro. a song for grown-ups. 
Come on, bro. But you know okay. she listens to I'm the not song. I'm not gonna go play the fucking. I'm not gonna go play porn for my kids. I'm not gonna go play because fucking. Because it's an influence. Uh, yeah. Because there's not time for that shit. It's an influence. It's an influence. You're not gonna let your children listen to it. But children are listening to bitch bad. You know what I'm saying? It's a bad bitch. It's coming on the radio. It's getting to kids for the most part. It wasn't listening to that song. <sighs> that song. Kids was not listening to that song. I understand. That's not the point that right. I'm making, bro. You speak on what he's speaking on. He it's a it's right. a full blown fact and it's real. Real niggas <clears throat> know there's nothing but garbage messages in our music. I'm not gonna say it's nothing but garbage messages. For the most part on a mainstream level. On the mainstream this level. This has been going when we was kids, I this is the same shit they were saying. Now all you hear about is the, oh the nineties is the best shit. When we was young, all they did was shit on that music. So this isn't this That's isn't funny a, to me. It's not a generational thing here. This is not what Do I'm getting. Do you remember when we was kids what they were saying about rap music? It was, yeah, it was they're talking about the style. Shit. Same thing they're the saying that we're saying right now. No, but they're talking about the style. They're talking about the corniness of the like the flows, maybe the flamboyancy. I'm talking Those about Those conversations the, went away. I'm talking about the message, bro. The message. The message was only positive, maybe late there 70s, were a lot early more 80s. There conscious rappers. Listen, they was talking about coke. in the 90s, though. Coke and heroin, even then. I mean, it was bad in the 80s. I, I'm t- Since I the beginning get it. of the time, it was bad. I, I, I get it, okay. bro. I get it. But it's that doesn't make it not factual that the messages are negative. There are some negative messages. They're mostly negative. No, they're I'm not mostly say that. There's negative. There's a lot of music out here. In hip hop, the messages are mostly There's negative. Millions of artists. How many ne- Matt step in? Hmm. Don't do this. But you know the top niggas are mostly negative. No. Can you get through a song true. without a nigga saying I fuck this bitch? It's a lot of that going on. <laughs> Can you get through a There's song a without a nigga saying I'll shoot but a nigga? The problem with niggas is all we keep doing is talking about that. We don't we can sit up here and have the same conversation about the decent shit, the decent messages that's out here still. We don't ask we don't advertise. But they're not we only don't, evil. We don't market. They're not, only, they're not only even Why the fit? fuck we don't give no energy to the opposite part of it? We want to hear about stop telling niggas about that bad shit. Tell us about the good shit. Because the negative shit outweighs the positive it, shit. It because that's how y'all letting it. You even guys, y'all, it's y'all fault. Uh, even if these kids, but it's these kids that's listening to this shit mostly. Even if it don't, it don't. That don't sell. That's why it doesn't sell. Nobody wants to see you hurt. You saw that shit, and not you, the you, niggas that you saw that make Lupe. this type of music, bro. Don't get plays. You saw Lupe. That's correct. Break some shit down. Did you listen to it? I he he broke it down on it yeah. like very basic, mm-hmm. but it was scientific. Yeah. It was clever. Who's the audience I don't, for see, this I don't know if it's is it. You, you don't think you. it's literally that it's they're not, not getting me. pushed, or is it just? I just think it's just not what people want to hear. People might not want to hear it because it's I think responsible. That's why I think it doesn't it's, sell because it's not popular. It's, it's not what they it's want to hear. It's not catchy. People it's crybaby. Pe- people, Shut the fuck is up. Is it crybaby? No, nah, I wouldn't nigga? say that. I just, like don't think it's, I just don't it's a, think it sells. It's a responsible message. Cl- Nobody uh, wants to be hear or buy yeah, anything no. responsible. No, no that's not what they're trying to hear. Lupe crybaby nigga I've ever seen in my life. Yes, I get it. I get it. Lupe did. Full-blown crybaby. I met the nigga. He was a person. But I'm but I'm telling you, his... Uh, I don't remember that night. His messages are legit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you can't deny that, bro. He was just a solid, real nigga saying, like, all right, y'all y'all making all this music. This is what's happening when you're doing this. This nigga's looking at his mom call herself a bad bitch because of your song on the radio, and now he's associating the word bitch with his mom. You know what I mean? Like, like it's a positive thing. It's 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 more shit like that needs to be talked about in our music for us to progress and be. I'm I'm happy. I feel like we're progressing. We're getting all these movies. We're getting people talking about real estate, talking about investing. I don't agree. Talking the music about needs balance. Literacy. We need all the shit we got. We need it. Clearly, the shit's not balanced, though. It is it's balanced. It's not balanced. It's balanced, man. You have to dig for this shit. No, you fucking don't. For the positive shit, all you have to All these artists dig. that are out here, we only we sit up here and we only talk about the bad artists. There's a <sighs> fucking gang of artists that are not... That are st- you got niggas like that NF nigga y'all love, you know. He's not, it's a gang of those he's type. He's definitely of niggas. not mainstream. I'm talking about the people that we are forced. He just to we're not forced to people that nothing. hit the radio. The people nobody's that listening to radio. Everybody has their fucking Apple shit. They Spotify. They make yeah, their own. Do they not got well, like, even the same stuff that pops up on like the home hot, screen? Hot you know? pick of the week, right? You know what I'm saying? Come on now, bro. It, it's influence. Let's just, you're being you're being ignorant. I don't have to. It's like Michael Jackson. It's ignorant. Ignorant. It's just ignorant. Bro. Just ignorant. This <laughs> <laughs> is ignorant. You're being ignorant right Listen, now, man, and I don't know saying. why you're trying to fight me on this because you're wrong. 
and you just need to just listen like the niggas be having irresponsible messages this nigga had a responsible message because he he's solid in what it's he's not doing. irresponsible they're grown men and women making songs about shit they like and they, what they do so you don't think that you don't you don't think that they're not catering if that's the no, case no 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 no, no, no. we have to talk no, no, about no, no. You, all the nope, motherfucking nope, movies nope. is Scarface Listen. irresponsible yeah but you don't think niggas that don't say shit about that motherfucking Scarface you don't shit. think that they're it's rated R you have to be an adult to get in to see the that the same thing with this music why the fuck is you no play? it's your, on the your radio your parents are supposed to be shutting it's this shit radio. down it's okay, on the radio because your parents are supposed to be shutting this shit down music is a lot more out there than movies bro Niggas, you have to go pay. You have to watch a movie see. every day. Get your kinda, parenting s- controls on your kids' I devices. I see it from both ways, though, too. Because movies. even in my own opinion, man, when I'm making music, I'm making it for me. I don't give a fuck. If you don't want to listen to it, if you don't want somebody yeah, to listen to it, don't. You're not a, you're not a, a major label-backed artist. Even if I was, though, like I'm still gonna, I'm not going to... You think, can't I'm say not going to sit here and be like, oh, I shouldn't say that because kids are going to think something about it or kids yeah, might do that. Fuck about yeah, it, cause it's like I'm making, I'm not going to be over here trying to cater and, 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 and coddle Listen, these kids. I feel that. Fuck them kids. But you don't think that these artists aren't strategically doing shit in songs because they know it appeals to that 13-year-old TikTok oh, 100%. user? 100%. Stop being dumb. Some of that shit is going on. but It's always going on. It's how you sell, bro. It's that that that's a hundred percent true. You, you you cater to what. So let's just let's not be, let's not be ignorant about this shit, bro. It's not ignorant, but y'all giving these niggas a hard time. Right. I don't even. We went on a long <laughs> ass loop. I'm over this shit. Bro. 